I was part way through this um, tree yesterday. There's, there's a bit to do on this site. I was part way through the tree with the limbs still on it and I thought, well, this might make a good video. So I stopped what I was doing. I came down to chip the branches that I'd dropped and, um, and, and did some other stuff to make up the day. So part of today I'm going to get the remainder of them limbs off and uh, bring, uh, I'll chip the branches and I'll bring these stems down. So underneath there's the roof, there's the power lines, there's the other shed, um, there's, this looks like a heat pump is it maybe? And the uh, septic field, that little arbutus tree there has been a real nuisance this one. So I had to protect that yesterday. Um, so I'll show you how I was rigging or hanging the limbs um, uh, and then cutting them to avoid the wires. Now it wouldn't be beyond somebody to climb out. They're, those limbs are about 20 feet. So it wouldn't be beyond you to climb out there and cut the ends off and throw them back. But it's a lot of work. You couldn't hold them as they are in their entirety because they're too big when you get up there and they pop very easy and they're heavy. Because they've got all that end weight, all that foliage. So um, I'll show you how I went about it. I have done a video on this before, but years ago, how to, to um, solo rig limbs. Now I was going to do the same to this tree as well but I've since agreed to do all the chipping on the site and this is a different beast actually. It's a bigger, seems like an older tree. Um, the ones that are remaining, the two, sorry, the two that have started we're probably about 120 foot to start with. I have taken a small top out of the one with the limbs on, so it's a bit shorter than it was. This one is a bit bigger. And um, we've got the wires again underneath, heavier limbs on this one. And we want to chip the branches out there for those. So uh, I do have help coming tomorrow for this tree. Use this small limb as an example to show you a quick and easy way to, um, if you want to hang limbs in the tree that you're in, you just need two slings and one carabiner. And you put the first sling against the stem, second, second sling a little bit further out, and the carabiner in the middle. Leave a big gap there if you can, so long as you don't think there's a chance of this slipping out. If it slips anywhere, it's usually on this sling. So it's nice to have these stubs. And a tight, skinny sling bites in better than a, a, a wide one. So you do that if the limbs are easier to deal with hanging vertically easier to manhandle than trying to deal with them when they're horizontal like that. In the case of this tree we could do the whole tree if we wanted using this system but they'd still be hanging over the wires so we'd have to move down and cut them and maneuver them and throw them clear of the wires like so. I can lift that one actually, so this is not a heavy one, that's why I picked it deliberately. But it's easier than trying to hold it and cut it and, and what have you.
and you're always left with a stub too unless you sling to one stub where you can reach multiple other limbs but in the case we've only got these short slings and we can't do that so what I've done now is set this tie this line off in the adjacent tree and there's a friction hitch a micro pulley carabiner and a sling so I can slide this long it's a bit of a short hitch so it's not um, it doesn't break as easy nor run over this line very well but um, it, it works so I can slide this to any limb to position it my oval carabiner is best because it'll turn around and keep its configuration with the hitch but you need to be able to unclip this for every limb if I had to swing this I've got lots of clearance so I can just butt tie them but if I had to swing it round over something I could walk out and tie it further out and then it would bend round but what you have to keep in mind when you're not tying stuff at either one end or the other is that when you start cutting weight off it when it's hanging on the rope at some point the balance is going to shift and it's going to turn upside down so you don't want to get hit by the butts or the brush just something to be mindful of so we can just tie these off a couple of feet out and then because I'm using the VT and the um, micro pulley I can get nice amount of tension on here as much as I need which will cinch up the hitch and the sling as well so it's not going to slip So now the limb is clear of the wires, clear of the little trees. I can move across and just uh, cut it loose. I just have to be careful of the rope, the tail end that's hanging down, that I don't cut through that. So I've got to cut carefully. It's too big to lift and unsling, so I have to cut some of it off. Now if I cut it here, that butt's going to fall on me, so I'll go a little bit lower. And if it were to tip, I wouldn't be looking, I'd be looking down here. So always make sure there's more bottom weight than uh, top weight when you make the cut. There you go. I should be able to manage that. Throw it clear. Maybe the next one I won't sling it so far down. I know.
me, I'm going to just move to the next limb and move this up or down depending on where we are. Now I could use this on the same tree if I had no option and like I say just do what I'm doing but I'd have to cut it smaller and carefully manoeuvre them around. The thing with it hanging on a rope as well the advantage is, is that you can if you're limited to the same stem you can move the rope and the hanging branch away and as far away from the wires as what you can before you cut it. it it just helps instead of leaving it hung over the wires you can sort of drag the rope and steer it get underneath it before you release the branch but in this case we got this nice stem which is steering everything away See, without the the um <clears throat> the micro pulley I wouldn't be able to tension that the same Now ideally I would have used only as much rope as I needed here. I don't all this tail to the ground doesn't help me. There's a chance of it getting snagged. But it's not that critical. And it's a long rope and I, I would have had to have a big bundle up top. You can do this technique with shorter lengths of rope too, but it means you you just have to reset it now and then. But for a, a simple job like this, it was um, it, it seemed more logical to just have a length that spanned all of the limbs. See, I can steer that out of the way, so I was saying before. So that was actually um, only took about 25 minutes as they've gotten a lot smaller as, as we've moved up so I don't have to cut them I can just unloop the sling the last few I could probably hold by hand in two pieces but I'm gonna maintain the discipline and not change what's worked so I'm not in a rush so I've just got these two limbs and what remains of the top up there. The thing with fir branches as well, when you get 
above a certain height they have a tendency to drift so you throw them in a given direction but that's not to say that's where they'll end up so use every advantage So I'll just show you the what remains of the top. I actually took the top peak off yesterday before I had the inclination to make a video at all. So, but I've left this little bit just to show you in principle. It's the same setup as before. We've just anchored the line below the cut and then set the choker. It'll snag and bite pretty well will fold over you know when you're doing this you don't take a massive top because um, you obviously can't let it run so you're gonna get sprung around and um, it, it just makes it easy more difficult to dissect as well if it's big and heavy so that's why I went up took a small top um, I would have just cut these off and thrown them down these branches but I left them on just to show you If that's not too heavy, I'll just um, try and unsling it. I don't have my handsaw with me and it's a bit close to the lines to be cutting with the chainsaw. That's not too bad, I should get above it. It's easier to undo things when you're above pulling them up rather than trying to lift them from below. So this piece could take out the wires if I make a sloppy job of throwing it down through all that hard work the pole is kind of in the way I can't throw it that way so I don't want to mess this up at this stage so I'll rein out as far as I can 